All right. Disappointing. Is it just is it too much to ask for an actual goddamn boss fight? I mean really. Might as well switch it up since it's not like You were supposed to kill the orc. God damn it. This is why they need to make that shit targetable. You should be able to... You should be able to define which square you want the target to be in so that you can target what you want. But now instead, these two are hella divided and there's no way I am going to... Well, maybe. I guess if I get, like, incredibly fucking lucky... And he targets the edge. That shit's seriously just too good. No! <laughs> no luck for me. God damn it. Oh, of course they get reinforced. They wouldn't have had those reinforcements if you had aimed for the right fucking person, you cocksucker. God damn it. I'm pondering about whether I should try it again or whether I should just overkill this dude and, like, leave it alone. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to go 
both of the entirety of this nonsense. Would have gotten more experience if I had gone through the entirety of that nonsense, but it's not it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Damn it! They tricked me. These tricksy, tricksy peoples. gave her storm attack. You learn something new every day. Is that two extra garbles I see down there? I may actually let this one rock then because that'll be worth a lot of experience. means I should sleep. Damn, now I can't do what I wanted to do. Alright, let's just do something different then. <laughs> I got this. Well, nah, shit. I made, I made the wrong decision. I was hoping I'd be able to, uh... Attack one of them, but the other one would not be in range for the area of effect of Schwartz's attack, but then they both they all put themselves together. So then I was gonna use Vanessa's, but that probably would not have overkilled the garble, so it wouldn't have been worth it. I had to, I had to change my mind. Make an executive decision. Man, I gave this dude counter just for him to like not eat any physical attacks whatsoever. God damn it. Can that hit? No, it's a 3x3 three three grid. There's no way it's going to hit all of them. So we in there now. Actually, what am, I, what am I even saying? Like, why does it matter? I'll just use a single target. We'll use that one. Damn, this dude is tanky. Now watch what this combination attack does to him. This is hilarious. That actually didn't do as much as I was expecting. Best. Ooh, Sword of Kings, I bet that's better than Serious Sword. That I probably just butchered the pronunciation of. Cause that's how we do. Nobody speaks Japanese. God damn it. I should oh yeah. Makes that makes life so much easier. When you can just do that shit. Man damn, bring in your reinforcements faster. I just wanna kill everything. I want this to take seven years. I'm also thirsty right now. Just in case y'all were wondering. You probably weren't. But I'm letting you know anyway. That I'm thirsty. I'm trying to make this as fast and painless as possible. <laughs> Damn it! try using the oh no none of these people see that's the bad part is I need to get I need none of these people have the good EX skill the one that gives like extra TP yeah like none of this shit matters oh that's not even a go man they always tease me like I always think it's a garvel and it always ends up being some like pussy little goblin that I don't give a shit about. People are assholes, man. So I may as well just kill this dude. Just end everything.
That was a completely unnecessary amount of experience for that fight. That was a ridiculous amount of experience for that, what that fight was. Wow, your stats suck. Ooh, he leveled up twice! Let me give him some agility, make him faster. God, you suck when you level up. You don't even get enough points to, like, actually raise a stat. Yeah, because he was he was very useful in that fight. Makes me want to throw up the soles of my shoes? What does that even mean? Seriously, what the fuck does that even mean? I have never heard that before in my life. Well, yeah, we did kill a garvel. Assuming direct control. That's a Mass Effect shout out for those of you that are wondering, even though the voice was terrible. Assuming direct. No, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Really sad that Harbinger really had no appearance in Mass Effect 3. I mean, that dude was, that dude was a quality villain. Like, just, just the dude's voice. Like, you knew shit was about to go down when you heard that dude's voice. And for him to basically be non-existent in that game was just saddening. There really was, now that I think about it, there really was no, like... Enemy in that, well, nah, I'm not gonna get started on it. If I get started on Mass Effect and my complaints about it, that'll last the rest of this goddamn playthrough. So let's just ignore it. And I will say, that is the problem with the series. And that may actually be a problem with this, too. I mean, even though Idea Factory doesn't seem like the type of place that, like, somebody would bail on. Maybe, well, maybe it'd be like a starting kind of like, you'd start there. You'd start for this small little company, and then you move up, and then you'd go out to, like, a major company or something. But, like, that's the problem with series, is when, like, you start out and you got this idea. And you have this overarching plan, like, you have this story that you know how it's gonna go. You know what you want to do with it, but then, due to the fact that making games takes a long time. And it's gonna take a while to publish it all. You gotta wait in between games, you gotta give a certain amount of time before you release a new one or people call bullshit on you. Etc, etc, you got all that shit. That leaves a lot of time for somebody to move on with their life. And it can ruin. You know, like, it can ruin that plan. That plan gets corrupted, gets twisted, and it ends up becoming something else. And I think that's what, that's what happened with Mass Effect, is it just, it became something else. Because some people moved on, and then people that didn't really know what was going down were given control. And bad stuff happened. And that's the problem, I mean, that is the problem with series. That's something that's just, it's going to happen. You know, people are going to want to move on to better things. Like, loyalty is a great thing. But when you're sitting there in your life and you're like, what can I do to move up in the world? You should never be satisfied. Well, not, I, I, that's, that's a bad term. For, I mean, like, for me, I can never see a place where I will ever be satisfied without trying to keep moving upwards. Like, there's no, there's no height. There's no limit. I, I can't see, like, somewhere I'm like, yeah, if I get there, I'm done. And there's a lot of other people like that, too. They're ambitious. They want to keep going. They want to keep doing more and more amazing things. 
And that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna have people that dream big that are going to make these amazing fucking games. And they're gonna dream bigger and wanna move on to bigger things. And that's what happened that's what happened with Mass Effect. That could have happened here, you know, like people that knew what they wanted to do with this game ended up moving on and then they had somebody new came in he's like yo what if we change the battle system and fucked everything up <laughs> just something like that you know it happens it's life stuff you got to expect i don't gotta be happy about it though and that is nate's rant number god knows how many way too many i go off on tangents a lot <laughs> it's like i came out of fucking nowhere Oh, so she like covering up her third eye or something? Is that was going down? Maybe she doesn't have it, and she's just pretending she has it. Because as far as I remember, the eye was actually lower than what's being covered up on her by her headband. Hi. Did you did you see us fight? Reinforcements. Hello. Oh yeah, they weren't gonna help you. <laughs> they weren't gonna give a fuck. Well, that was stupid. How the fuck are you gonna get help without transfer portals? Fifty bucks says she's talking about us. All y'all owe me fifty bucks now. All forty of you <laughs> that are watching this. Yo, fuck the gods. My daddy killed a god. Give a shit about you. Or your gods. I'm gonna make it awkward to say that on Ava. Since Ava's like, what the... Servant of whatever divine she's supposed to be a servant of. Why do you gotta keep that shit secret? Man, there's no reason to keep that shit secret. Just tell us. Just let us know. For all we know... Man, that would piss me off if she ends up being a villain like everything else. Like, Deja ended up being a villain. Well, could potentially end up being a villain. Possibly, depending upon your decisions. Mimo became the fucking villain. At least for a little bit. If Ava ends up becoming a Like, I'm just... If Ava becomes a villain, I am, like, I am done. Right then and there. Because it has happened in every game. <laughs> and I don't want it to happen again. I mean, they were all the same, too. Dishina, Mimo, now Ava, they're all the same. They're the, the, the same purpose. So if Ava ends up being a villain, like, if you do that shit for three straight fucking games, I will lose my shit. So we go in there. Well, that's right. She wanted to go to Friendsburg to talk to us. So obviously, well, actually, I should make it. I should make it a point to like after every single kind of major story event to go back to Friendsburg check and see. I mean, it's not like it hurts to just go there to check. It doesn't cost me anything. She's saying she's a whore. 
しかしそれ以上に分かりあはいもしかして稲川さんもあなたにはここにいる手話ジュレのもとにいるあなたでしたら私の言う意味はアイス様の話が早くて助かるはい私も森人の一人ですシュバルツさん私の命はあなたですからお願いですにもなるだろうからな柔道てめえは一言多いんだよそういうところはジェイナスに似てきたなそんなことね Yeah, what a great fucking comeback Welcome to the internet! 
How exciting. All right, so I'm going to walk all the goddamn way back to Friendsburg. Probably going to get into a fight. And then when we get there, if there's events there, shit will go down.